Good morning. My name is Ralph Freaks. I'm an addiction recovery coach, a life coach, minister, and host of this show, The Take Your Life Back Today radio show. You can see a video version of this if you go to YouTube under channel Take Your Life Back Today show. I want to talk about a Christian's toolbox. Every now and then, something around the home will need repairing, or a door will have to be replaced, a chair leg fixed, or even a wall removed or a room remodeled. Most homes have a toolbox somewhere on the premises for uh, occasions such as these. A toolbox usually contains the basic tools needed for repair on the home or for the use on household projects. Similarly, every Christian should also have a spiritual toolbox that has basic tools needed for Christian growth. These tools are very similar to the ones found in the toolbox in the home, maybe in your shed or in your garage. For an example, on many occasions around the home, a ruler is necessary to take measurements. A length may need to be figured, a distance measured, or dimensions taken. If you are building something from, uh, uh, from scratch or repairing something already in existence, Somewhere along the process, you will need to take a measurement, right? In order to measure properly, you will have to have a standard ruler or tape measure. This ruler cannot be arbitrary or uh, of your own creation. If you have a different measure than what the plans are calling for, then what you are building will be different than the plans or the existing structure. You see, two, if you change your measurements, unit in the middle of the work, then your work will turn out very badly and might even possibly be unusable. Too many Christians fail to use the correct spiritual measurement units uh, when they work on their life. Some will use their feelings, some will use their family traditions, and some will use their opinions of people they respect or some other faulty human measure. We must be careful because if we use the wrong measure, we will find ourselves being measured by it again in Matthew 7, 2. Those who make up their own measuring unit, Paul says, are not wise in 2 Corinthians 10, 12. In fact, divers' measures are not uh, nothing short of an abomination to the Lord in Proverbs 20, 10. What we need to use in the measure of the rule which God hath distributed to us in 2 Corinthians 10, 13. The only two, uh, true measure is the word of God, for it is by his word that we shall be measured in the end. 2 Timothy 3.16-17, through 17, Revelation 20.11-15. through 15. But once we have measured the material we are using around the home, we may find that it does not fit as it should. Maybe too long, maybe too wide, maybe too short. We may have to cut it. For that, we need some kind of saw. And so, in our life, we may find that we have measured ourselves with uh, the Word of God. There are some things that do not fit and need to be uh, spiritually trimmed. Think about that. We may have to cut them off to fit in our lives. If we lie, we have to cut that off. Ephesians 4.25. If we become angry to the point of sin, we have to cut that off in Ephesians 4.26. If we steal, we will have to cut that off in Ephesians 4.28. So, if our hand or foot offend us, that is cause for sin, we have to spiritually cut them off. Matthew 18, 8, 9. A spiritual sore is a handy thing to have in or around the house. Another basic tool that is needed is a level. If you have ever tried to put in a new door frame in an old house, you will uh, you will know that the old house is not always exactly square. Or otherwise, in the contract, is term plumb. Sometimes you have to shim the door uh, frame and square it off that the door will open and shut properly. Or if you are putting in a concrete drive uh, or sidewalk, you have to keep the forms level or at particular angle. In a, uh, a similar fashion, spiritually, we sometimes get out of uh, the um, 
uh, kilter that we have, we get our priorities wrong. Jesus gently warned Martha about getting her priorities straight because she considered many things more important than God's will. You can find that in Luke 10, 38, 42. She was out of level. Jesus said, no man putting his hand to the plow and looks back to fit for the kingdom of God in Luke 9, 62. If we use the spiritual level of God's word, we can get our life back in order. Another important tool to have around the house is a good wrench. Sometimes things come loose, don't they? If there is a leak in the drain or a water line, you might have to tighten uh, a nut or uh, possibly a screw. When you assembly an appliance, you might need to use a wrench. Sometimes in our own lives, we have the right parts and they are the right length and are level, but they just need to be tightened up a little. As time goes by, my friends, we sometimes lose our zeal and our intensity. We sometimes lose our faith, don't we? When this happens, we need to tighten things up. Paul warns us to examine our self-worth to see whether we are in faith in 2 Corinthians 13, 5. He warned the Galatian brethren who were trying to be justified by the Lord that they had fallen from grace in Galatians 5, 4. We can lose our grip, can't we? If you find yourself slipping a little, take out a wrench and study to show thyself approved unto God in Timothy 2.15. A clamp is another necessary tool in your toolbox, in your Christian toolbox as well. A clamp holds on to things or holds things together. If you have ever worked with wood, you know how indispensable a clamp really is. As Christians, we also need to hold on to certain things to hold things together. For instance, we need to hold fast that uh, uh, which is good in first. Theologian 5.21. We should hold on to the sound words in 2 Timothy 1.13, the profession of our faith in Hebrews 10.23, and lay hold on eternal life in 1 Timothy 6.19. At the same time, as, a bre uh, as brethren, we should be perfectly joined together in the same mind, same judgment in 1 Corinthians 1.10. As a church, we are framed and built it together for a habitation of God in Ephesians 2.21. Finally, a hammer could be the most versatile tool we have. It is naturally used for pounding things, particularly fasteners like nails, but it can also be used to loosen things or pry things apart. If you have a claw hammer, a hammer can even test for solid surfaces behind the wall like studs. Jeremiah described God's word like a hammer. He wrote, It is not my word like as a fire, said the Lord, and like a hammer that breaketh the rock in pieces in Jeremiah 23, 29. Sometimes we need to use God's word like a hammer to break hardened hearts with the truth in Acts 2, 37. You can have a toolbox full of tools, but if you do not know which tool to use, the toolbox and its tools are useless. If your tools are not kept up, then they also become useless. Let us fill our toolbox full of useful tools that we may be uh, ready for the task in 1 Corinthians 15, 58. Friends, fill up your Christian toolbox and utilize it like you would a toolbox around the house. Call me at 844-405-HELP because you and I, we can help each other take our lives back. Be good to yourselves and always be good to each other. Remember, Simple smile to strangers can help their uh, day, can change their life, can make a difference in your life. What's in your Christian toolbox? Are you utilizing every single tool in there? Let's build our Christian life with our new Christian toolbox together. And may God bless each and every one of you.